Good evening. Welcome to the City of Pelotas Planning and Zoning Commission's regular monthly meeting for October. It is October the 1st, 2019 at 7 o'clock. I'd ask the Secretary of the Commission to call the roll, please. Greg Michelle. Here. Jason Whiteman. Here. Ron Hazza. Joe Edmond. Here. Mike McLaughlin. Mario Rios. Jeff Wade. Here. Richard Hawk. Here. Great, and we have Selena Perez and Susan Darst from staff and Alex Blue, the council liaison here this evening. So we don't have any citizens to be heard this evening, so we will move to the council liaison report of which there are two items from last month and I'd ask Councilman Blue to come forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you can see from your agenda, there were two items that came before planning and zoning that went before city council. The first of the two items was a request by Kidder Equipment Group uh, for their special use permit. Uh, that was essentially the, the issue that came here and had a lot of discussion and, and controversy uh, with regard to uh, Cooter Browns uh, moving into the spot back behind the area. Uh, in the general area behind the KFC wash tub and more, more specifically behind the Bandero Cafe. Um, City Council had uh, very much the same concerns as exhibited here uh, and after one council member read the original um, des design for the overlay zone indicating that it was for, for specifically for the protection of the neighboring community um, from any impact not just specifically what the citizens were talking about, uh, meaning that they serve alcohol and the worry about noise and whatever. Uh, the city council with a five to zero vote denied their request. Um, the second item of the final and amending plat was actually on our consent agenda. There was no discussion and it was approved exactly as planning and zoning has. Questions for Alex. I have one, Alex. How would you characterize the discussion regarding the uh, Kidder proposal, and particularly as it relates to that one segment of the overlay district uh, description, uh, because it could be interpreted to pretty much preclude any sort of development there, because anything will have an impact. So, how did how would you characterize it? Well, various members of the uh, of the uh, council had uh, differing uh, concerns, but in general, they they had a lot to do, not as much to do with the outdoor sound but more uh, to do with the sound that was within the building leaking out into the outside knowing that at one point the owner who actually said something comparable here indicated well of course our bar has roll up windows right so there's no way to contain the sound inside the building and is going to leak out but I think for a couple the biggest the, the biggest issue was the the massive size of an almost two acre parking lot and although the owner said, yes, but we only have three nights that are busy, he had no answer to the concern that that doesn't mean that seven nights of the week the lights are going to be on and they're going to be at the level of the top of the trees. And so that is clearly going to be an impact, empty or full, loud or otherwise. There's no question that two acres of parking lot lights immediately in the back neighborhood, uh, back door of, of houses would have an impact. That impact along with the other concerns also brought up by planning and zoning, because I can assure you they all watched the, the video and, and, and saw that because it was a very important item. Um, just collectively, there was, there was a great business, wonderful people, wrong place. And I think that's the, that's the to sum it up. Okay. Any real, other questions? Yeah, real quick. What, was, what, what did you say the vote was? Five to zero. Five to zero, okay. Thank you. Item five on our agenda this evening, this evening is discussion and action on the minutes of the regular meeting from September the 3rd, 2019. We've had a chance to review them. If there are any corrections or edits, let us know or we can have a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Thank you, is there a second? I'll second that. Jason. So the motion is to approve as submitted the minutes from the September 3rd, 2019 meeting. Uh, all in favor of approving, please signal aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved, thank you.
Item number six this evening is discussion and action on a request by Winton Robertson for approval of wall signage pursuant to the Municipal Code of Ordinances, Chapter 66, Section 51, signs, commercial signs, projecting wall hanging or in or on windows. For Mr. W. Fireworks, located at 10585 Shanefield Road, San Antonio. Uh, Susan or Selena, anything additional beyond what is in our material for this evening? No. Is there one of you all must be? <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just put your name and business address on record. Yes, my name is Rafael Lugo. I'm here representing Mr. W. Fireworks. And, and the address. business address is? 12221 FM 476. Great, thank you. Somerset, Texas. Okay, so this is, this is the current, is that correct? Th that is the proposed. That's the proposed. Sorry, thank you. The current. Is, is it a sign currently or is it painted on? Currently it's just blank. There's no, it's just a white building. We removed the signs due to Did. fines. Okay, yes. so there's nothing there. Uh, my only question, uh, so, so others can pursue the colors, but to be clear, this is, what, what is the material for this sign? So basically it's just to let people know that this is a firework store. It's for retail, we sell. But the, the sign itself is made of what? What is the material oh, for the sign? Oh, it's, it's, it's I couldn't tell you, I, to be honest with you. It's a hard material. It's not painted on it. I don't have the answer. Is it some kind of board material? Um, is it like a chloroplast? Or is it a vinyl sign? Yes. yes chloroplast? Yes, exactly. Okay. I didn't have the, the name on top of my chloroplast? head. Chloroplast? Help me. That, that, that doesn't that, help me. That, that's it's, not really meant for outdoors. That does fade over time, just FYI. It's a, it's a, it's a very thick, hard, um, gosh, I can't even describe it's about, it. It's about, a, it's about an eighth. Thick. It's not too thick. Not well, too thick. How do you affix it to the building? We screw it with 516 self tapping screws. Okay. Okay. Uh, turn it over to others. Questions? I, I, have, I have a question. Joe. <laughs> what is the size of the sign? I'm sorry? The size of the sign. The size of the sign. So in height, I have it here. It's 30 inches tall, and the width of it is 40 feet. And the width is 40 feet? Yes, sir. And 30 inches in height, you said? In height, not, not from the ground, just the, the width, right. the height of the sign That's itself. That's what, two, two and a, two and a half? It's about, I think it's about three That's feet. About 100, that is 100. 100 square feet. Exactly. Imagine two and a half feet by 40, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chair, I have a question. Yes, um, go ahead. <laughs> I see there's no lighting at all right now. Are y'all planning on in the future of adding any type of lighting? There is lighting on the, on, on the, for the sign? Yes. There is lighting uh, right above the eye, in between the first eye, the fireworks. That's actually a light shining right here. on the building. Is it shining up or down? Um, there's some shining, there's, because it has three lights on there. There's one shining down and two shining on the, the building itself for the parking lot. Okay, so that's not, if I am understanding right, you're not talking about that as being a sign light. That that light will, it will. It's more parking lot. Okay, so it's, it's larger than just the sign. Yes, exactly. Is it believe the application actually says the sign is not lit? The sign yeah. itself is the not sign lit, The sign itself is not lit. Okay. But Staff had raised um, concerns or at least questions about colors. I don't know if anybody has to speak to that. This is, it's red, white, and Red, white, and blue, basically? Yeah, red, basically red, white, and blue. With the white background, is red and white. Red and blue. You, you, you don't have a nighttime operation, do you? <coughs> you mean like 24-7? No. After dark? No, they, I think, believe they shut down at, I believe, 10, 10 o'clock p.m. Okay. Is it seasonal or is it open year-round? It's seasonal, twice a year. Um, I believe it's the 22nd and through the 1st. In December, and then for July, June, July, it's 24th to the second. It might be the first. I could be wrong about that. Yes, okay. it's a two-week time span, a month total throughout the year. Other questions? questions? I have a question. Yes. Do you have any specific rules about uh, how you have to protect it, being that you got explosive type stuff in there? Rules for the sign. Or no. So. 
I'm going to ask Joe that we if we could put that off okay. because it's okay. not really yeah. related to the sign. Yeah, okay, I was uh, I was connecting it to if they have a sign that explains, but that's okay. We'll do it later. Okay. Anything else for the applicant? Thank you. So at this point, we could discuss further, or we could have a motion. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I would make a motion to be approved. The request for a sign be approved. So uh, it's a recommend approval, correct, Joe? Recommend approval. Okay. Right. So uh, as submitted? As submitted. I'll read it back to everyone, but is there a second for that mo motion? I'll second uh, it. Go with it. Go with Ron. <laughs> Go Any Ron. discussion, further discussion, Joe or Ron or anyone else? No. No. So the motion is to recommend approval. <clears throat> The request by Winton Robertson for wall signage pursuant to municipal code of ordinances chapter 6651, that is signs, commercial signs, projecting wall hanging or in or on windows for Mr. W. Fireworks, located at 10585 Shanefield Road. All in favor of the motion signal aye. 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 Opposed? This motion is approved. It will go to city council for final determination on October 10th. 10th of October. Thank you. Our next item tonight is discussion and action on a request by Raul Torre Novaterra America LLC for approval of a residential subdivision entry sign pursuant to Municipal Code of Ordinances Chapters 66, Section 43, that is signs, residential subdivision entry signs for the Oasis subdivision located near the intersection of Shetland Gate and Shetland Brook. Beyond what we have in our material, Susan, is there, or Selena, anything else? Okay, I gather you all are representing the applicant? Yes. yes. We have a question, why don't you tell us your name and put your business. Um, um, my name is Nidia. This is. Uh, Francisco Tristan. And what's your business address, please? It's 10225 Shetland Gate. Okay, great. All right, so there's our proposed signage. Uh, we have material. Uh, your image, is there newer or different? No, it's not the same. Okay. One. Great. Uh, I'd open the floor to questions or comments. And I'll actually just start with one if I can. In terms of the location, and trying to figure out where this is, looking at the maps, I went online and looked, and it, it's hard to tell where precisely this is. So um, is the subdivision existing at this point? Are there uh, homes there? We're under construction. Are... We're under construction. Under right construction, now. okay. So. I know it's hard to see. Mr. Wade, would you mind hitting the light right behind you? Maybe that okay, that works. Okay, so. Where is. Down here on Shetland Gate on the uh, left side. I can't see it from Where's here. Your pointer? You can. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a pointer. Right here. You can go over there if you can see it. Okay, so that's the that's the land right. And so how? So, okay, oh, oh, go ahead. But, but where exactly is the official entrance? Right here. Okay. On Shetland Gate. Yes. yes. Okay. So you turn into the property off of Shetland Gate. Yes. Okay. You have to go through Wild Horse Parkway, correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. So you have to use Shanefield, and then turn right on Wild that's Horse correct. Parkway. Yes. Okay. So it's kind of a subdivision within a subdivision. Yes, sir. Okay. How many properties, how many homes? 32. 32. Okay. All right. That's why I'm confused because it's within Wild Horse. All right. Question, Joe. Um, the question I have relates to access to your property. Do you, have you gotten approval from the property owners that you've got to transit from to get to your time? property? Approval uh, from, from who, I'm sorry? Well, I guess it's Wild Horse, whoever owns Wild Horse. Um, right? Yeah, we actually uh, went and met with them because we did want them to uh, be the HOA of that to just incorporate ourselves, but uh, they say they they didn't want it to, and uh, they did uh, review the uh, project, and they were okay with it. They didn't say anything. So they've given you permission to access, yes. transit that property, get to yes. your property? Yes. Yeah. Question. Jeff. So the sign itself is like a 
big rectangle and then the letters are cut out of it and it's going to be backlit so you correct. see through. Yeah, it's yes. a piece of metal and uh, we are going to extrude the, the letter and then just... Um, LED tubing behind it? Yeah. Okay. Um, but that piece of metal, is it going to be this... I mean, is it orange? Is it brown? Is it it's rust? A, it's like a, yeah, like a rusty metal. Like a like rusty uh, copper. Yeah. Some sort of that color. Okay. And then the rest of the is just going to be gray cement base? Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. There is landscape lighting as well. Yes. Can you, maybe you could walk over there and show us roughly what are we talking about with the landscape lighting? Okay. And the lighting? Is there lighting in? The lighting, we're going to have lighting uh, right. in the middle of the wall and the sign. And just, uh, I don't know if you have this one, but there is two stick lights, one just on each face between the, this, light, this side and the other side. Just mm -hmm. uh, trying to put something on the wall to increase the green. No, would you send that one around? Yes, if you wouldn't mind, to start down there. And Jeff, would you hit the light too? Yeah. I think at this point. Mr. Chairman, I think he's referring to these two fixtures right here. There's just two? Yeah, that's. Uh, well, that's oh. right. we have six. Six. In the side plan, you can see six. Okay. In, in that uh, view, we have two. Side of the. So they're 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 landscaped. They're within the the rock and plants there. Okay. Just let take, let people take a look at that. And it is just one sign, right? Not on both yes. sides. Just one. Okay. While that's going around, if there are any other questions, just Jason. Only one question. The, the lights are just, they're kind of accent lights that, uh, yes. just to light like the rocks or not. Like, okay. and the, and yeah. The same, same type of wall. Okay. Like uh, some foliage. Okay. Any other questions? Before we can have a motion at this point. Thank you. Oh, here you go. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to recommend approval of the request by Raul Torre Novaterra America for residential subdivision entry sign pursuant to municipal code of ordinances, chapter 66 six signs, section 6643, six residential subdivision entry signs for the Oasis subdivision located near the intersection of Sh Shetland Gate and Shetland Brook. Is there a second? I'll second. Jason. Discussion, Jeff? Jason. Looks good. Jason. I'd make a couple quick comments. That last sheet that you had with the lighting on it, make sure that city council, that staff has that for the city council meeting next week. That'll be helpful. And uh, I do want to compliment them on the sign. We've seen a number of residential signs over the years here that have been um, problematic, shall we say, <laughs> uh, from the perspective of this group. But this one is, um, I think, well done, tasteful, and Clean. appropriate size and scale for where it's going. So well done. Uh, the motion is to recommend approval of the request by Raul, Raul Torre, Novaterra America, 
for the residential subdivision entry sign pursuant to code chapter 66 section 43 that is signs residential subdivision entry signs for the oasis subdivision located near the intersection of shetland gate and shetland brook all in favor of the motion please signal aye aye, aye. opposed this motion is approved and so city council will have this on the 10th of october for final determination mr chairman Surprisingly, that brings us to the end of our agenda. <laughs> may, may I make a motion? You may make a motion. To motion. adjourn. Is there a second to adjourn? A second. second. Jason, all in favor of adjourning, please signal aye. Aye. Opposed. We're adjourned at 721. <laughs>